Hi there. So who knows what this is? This is what they call red rosin paper. I got it, oh my goodness, at least four years ago <laughs> for some project that I thought I was going to work on. It's been sitting behind my door in my studio. So why am I showing this to you? Well, I've been invited to a new Facebook group and it's based off of all of these videos that are getting their inspiration from Shannon Green's Journaling by Fives. They work in, well, they work in different journals, but the main journal they work in is a composition book. I used my last composition book that I have on hand for my vocabulary. And it is in the wee hours of Sunday morning. And this is my day of rest. <laughs> I don't want to go to the store later today and even the dollar store to get a composition book. The whole theory behind this is doing an entire 20 pages in about two and a half hours a day, or a whole session of two and a half hours. And it is to use things that you have on hand. Well, I have this on hand. This is a very interesting paper. Before I signed on, I don't know much about red rosin paper, so I went to Wikipedia to read about it, and they called it a, a felt paper. Felt, to me, is a fibrous substance. So this is probably a paper made up of little tiny paper fibers, and the rosin word comes from rosin, and they referred to the pine cones, but I imagine there are other vegetation, vegetative plants that that rosin comes from. I am going to make my own art journal out of my red rosin paper. This paper is used in the building and construction trades for various purposes, as I was reading on Wikipedia. So I think that, man, this would be perfect for an impromptu art journal. This is one yard wide. If I have my ruler that I have on hand here is 18 inches. So 18 inches from here to here, this is about halfway. So if I doubled that, would be nine inches wide. And I'll do this offline because you don't need to see me struggling with this roll of paper. <laughs> That'll give me two pages. I'll need approximately five of those and then I'll stack them up. And I'm going to tear, this is cut, very jaggedy cut. I'm going to tear it like you would a watercolor paper. So I'll have that, hopefully I'll have that ragged edge and I might even tear it slightly after I get it all sized up here on the sides too, so I'll have very raggedy edges. So, after explaining that to you, I'll construct my Red Rosen art journal, and then I will be back and talk about what the journaling by fives, which... If you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you've probably seen references, references, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you've probably seen references to them already because a lot of people are doing them now. So I'll be back when my journal is complete and I'm ready to work in it. Okay, I am back. What you see here is a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard. I've got two of those here. That's going to eventually be the cover for my 
journaling by fives art journal I went back and reviewed Shannon's video I'm really glad I did because she talked about different ways to do the journal and this is actually going to be my first signature in the five by fives art journal I think I just have a hunch that I'll be doing more than one of these so I'm going to build it like this eventually but I have my first signature of 20 pages here's that red rosin paper that I showed you on that big roll earlier today I've been working on cutting them down they measure they're kind of word measurements but I like it it's 11 and a fourth by 8 8 and approximately eight and a half not a little bit over eight and a half but I have these really raggedy edges on there I tore them like I didn't do watercolor paper and I really do like that effect for especially for a project like this I will be ready to start doing the first prompt which I think is paint or inks I'm going to start my first segment tomorrow so I am ready to go. I'm really looking forward to doing this. In the description box below, I have a link to a Facebook group that was just started today by Shannon Green. It's called Journaling by Fives. And I would really encourage you to go check it out. I also have a link to her video, her original video where she put together the process and gave a list of prompts to do this. So Shannon, I'm really looking forward to this and to all the other people who have been doing this. I've been having a lot of fun watching the videos and seeing everyone's take on this. So I will see you on the next page.